担当って言ってもね、はい、こういう2種類ざっくりあるんですよこういうのはねあの合口っていうんですつまり相手を切った後はい、吸ってきてこうなるんですみなさんこんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Six and Say. I love to be your host, Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Six and Say, I'm going to talk to you about this. 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 I'm going to talk to you Tanto is the shortest type of katana that can even be kept inside the kimono. However, you might have thought before is it even possible to win a fight against a long katana with such a tiny sword? By watching this video, you will get to learn about the rare techniques of fighting with the tanto and the unique fighting methods that can only be applied to this short katana. So, today, we'll first explain more about the history and purpose of the tanto. After that, Six Sensei will introduce five tanto kata, two yai, and three kenjutsu. From a different duha, which is not a Samurai Chindu that he is fully trained in. But what is the purpose of training the skills of fighting with such a tiny katana? And what is the duha that teaches such rare skills? Please watch both part one and part two till the end to find out. Then, let's get started. First of all, let's learn about the two main different kinds of tanto. Tanto, t e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e はい、口っていうのは唾がなくてこう口う口同士が合ってるっていう意味なんです。相口 means that the mouths match, which means there are no tsuba handguards in between the entrance of the sheath and the handle. Most people today, when they hear the word aikuchi, they would immediately imagine a tanto. It's true that most aikuchi left today are tanto, because during the final samurai era, the Edo period, there was a law that long katana must have a tsuba handguard. However, in the past, there were longer katana like the tachi or uchi katana that didn't have a tsuba either. For example, the katana famous for being owned by Uesugi Kenshin is an aikuchi. These aikuchi kind tanto h a s a major benefit. Because it doesn't have a tsuba handguard. Because the Aikuchi Tanto doesn't have bumps, you can easily hide it inside your kimono as a secret weapon. So not only men, but also women would often carry it inside their kimono to protect themselves in emergency situations. Next, this is the other kind of Tanto. This kind could be used as a substitute for a wakizashi because it was shorter and even more convenient when samurai worked indoors. Or it was used as a sword that they wore at home when they were spending time in their kinagashi. The samurai leave the uchikatana and wakizashi on their sword rack and equip the tanto instead. But d y u h a that teaches actual fighting skills of the tanto are very rare. What kind of d y u h a is it? Asayama Ichi Denryu ではないんですけど Asayama Ichi Denryu の先代大崎清先生に教わった別の流派のもの。新影流方眼派っていう。新影流方眼派。The predecessor of Asayama Ichi Denryu, the 21st headmaster, 大崎先生 also trained various 流派 styles and weapons like 関先生 And the 新影流方眼派 was one of them. Hogan is a name of the bureaucracy of the samurai society. So, this duha was trained by the higher class samurai. So, the kata of this duha has a characteristic of being very elegant, and the situations are where the samurai are wearing the higher rank kimono like the nagabakama. So, then, without further ado, let's start learning the actual fighting skills of the tanto.
Let's have Six Sensei explain about the details of the kata. There is an opponent sitting in front of you, and both of you have your uchi katana on your left side. You can win in this situation because you're using the benefit of being able to draw quicker than the uchi katana. After defeating the opponent, you back away as you keep the tanto near your forehead for sanshin. This is a unique stance called sagi jodan because the tanto looks like the beak of a heron. After you confirm that the enemy is defeated, you bring your body down as you lower the tanto. You hit the end of the handle of the tanto for chiburui and you grab the tip to sheath. Lastly, you fix your nagabakama, long hakama, as you switch your legs. Nagabakama are dragging long hakama that was worn by the upper rank samurai inside castles. Because higher rank samurai were closer to powerful leaders, they were forced to wear such a long kama to prevent them from running in case they caused a crime. Watching the first kata, you might have thought that the skills are something similar to the wakizashi because they are both short katana, but actually they are very different. And there are unique techniques that you must train for the tanto, for example. The this is another example of skills that are required specifically for the tanto. これでね、相手が刀に手をかけて先ほどと同じようにで、後輩。おお、次は首に向かって。で、後輩。おお、次は首に向かって。で、後輩。で、これが刀と斬新。刀と斬新。はい。刀で、はい。刀の見えなくし
、でここから左足の軸で回転する、はい、そうすると正面避けてこう入るんですこうあ股間のそううわーこうね、はい、武道を一つね極めんとするときに長所ばっかり生かそうっていうことじゃないんですね